Hello everyone, ARG back with some more Franchise IQ Manager 8 and our quest to win the Stanley Cup pair-ups with the alternate universe future Ottawa Senators and their incredible 17-3-2 record to start the 2023-2024 season. We are first in the East. Everything is looking pretty good. We don't have any injuries to our main team. Philip Dewey is playing in the minors. That's the only injury we have and he's day to day. So looks like we are off to a great start, of course. That doesn't guarantee anything. Uh, as the Toronto Maple Leafs of, you know, real life, how that feels. So, uh, today we're going to be playing December, so officially the last month of 2023, obviously. So, looks like we are we have a good split of home and away games, so it doesn't look like we're going to have a advantage or disadvantage either way. And we are going to get underway here real soon. <clears throat> Every time that I have not played this game for a second and that I come and I do the sands, it boggles my mind how slow the sim is compared to a historical save, right? Because I, my forte has always been the historical sims, usually in the 90s, right? That's what you're used to see me do. So I'm still not used to have so many leagues in the background that are simming and everything. All right, so looks like uh, Nathan Bastion and Eric Calgren have been put on waivers by their uh, by their teams. Oh, Cole Caulfield is hurt in Montreal. Uh, he's gonna miss. They don't say here. Two to three weeks. That's not too terrible. So Montreal losing Cole Caulfield here for a couple weeks. Casey Middlestad has a great game. He had three goals and an assist against the Kraken. Pretty decent game for Middlestad. Alexander Barkov extends his assist streak to eight games with an assist against the Canucks. Gabe Villardi's point streak ended at 14 games. It was held scoreless against the New Jersey Devils. Uh, Kevin LeBanc is injured in San Jose. He's going to be out for five months with a fracture coracoid bone. All right, that's going to hurt the Sharks. Uh, sharks were having an all right start to the season. Not not setting the world on fire, but decent record. Uh, Eugene Melnick is very happy with my work. Yeah, the fact that we... Oh, I didn't... So when I streamed last time, I didn't notice that, but I went uh, the entire month of November undefeated in regulation. I went 13-0-1. That's pretty impressive. Ooh, Yevgeny Malkin is on the block in Pittsburgh. That's interesting. He's all old. I'm not going to be, you know, setting the farm for him. Oh, so the Devils signed Nathan Bastion and then put him on waivers because we're used to seeing that. Oh, and then Toronto signed Joseph Wall as a free agent. So that's why Calgren has been put on waivers, apparently. All right. Lots of news for the first day of December. All right, we are uh, starting the month in Detroit. That's a... Hey, FJ, long time no see. Of course, I don't stream as much anymore. So obviously, you know, harder to talk to you. I don't know that he's all of fame bound, but he did win the Bill Masterton, as I saw. All right, so as I was saying, we're going to go and play in Detroit. Detroit is 10, 10, and 2, so maybe a little bit disappointing. They should be maybe a little bit better than that for that junction of their rebuild. At least in real life, I would think that by that time, they would expect for a little bit better than that. Uh, that puts them 8 in the East. We have not played Detroit this season, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at their lineup. Oh, yeah, that's true. They went and got uh, Alexander Georgiev in it. And then they have Sebastian Casa as well. I am doing pretty fantastic. How about you? How, 
how have things been? Are you like 47 years old now? It feels like it's been a while. Yeah, pretty good player. All right, so <clears throat> Georgiev, Kasa, and D, the Red Wings have uh, Nick Letty, Joel Edmondson, uh, Johansson, Barton, Sider, Jolson, and Ronick. Up front, they have Bertuzzi, Imor, Fabri, Vrana, Jones, Corelli, Yannick, Granlud, Suter, Larkin, Villeno, Watson, Lucas, Raymond, and Stevens. Oh! So you're about to be legal in the US in four days. Look at you, growing a big beard and stuff. All right, let's play this game against Detroit. I think we have a good shot at winning this game. Philip Gustafsson is going to be a net for the Ottawa Senators. Alexander Georgiev is going to be a net for Detroit. And of course, go sends go, it wouldn't be a sense game without a good heartfelt go sense go. No, I am go I am not going to be undefeated in regulation in December. I just lost two to one. That's uh, that's difficult. Oh, that's true. Your birthday is uh, is at the same time as one of my best friends in Canada. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh, we were dominated. I don't like that. Detroit outshot us 30 to 16 in this game that we lost to the one. Uh, Mikael Granlund was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Mason Shaw was the second star with a goal. And Robbie Fabry was the third star with a goal as well. Uh, Detroit scored first in the first period. Then in the second period, Mason Shaw tied the game from Tim Stutzel and Artem Zub. It was tied at one. Then Detroit scored again. It was 2-1, nobody scored in the third, not a whole lot happened, to be honest, and we lost 2-1. Alright, so we will bounce back. I've got to go in the dressing room and tr treat my players like shit because they dared lose in regulation one game. <laughs> Right, so I have a few players that uh, are hurt in Belleville. They're all day to day, though, so we're pretty good. Good night for John Tavares in Toronto. He had a goal and four assists against Nashville. Pretty good game. David Pasternak extends his goal three to five games with a goal against Winnipeg. Max Paxi already has a memorable game. Four goals and an assist against Washington. Pretty good game. Mark Stone in that same game had five assists. Uh, Kirby Dak has been suspended in Chicago. He's going to miss five games. Evander Kane extends his point three to 12 games in Edmonton. He had two assists against the Ducks. Jan Dreisaitl extends his point three to 23 games with a goal and an assist in that same game. And Connor McDavid extended his to 23 as well with two goals and two assists in that same game against Anaheim. Good night for Senna Peters. So playing in my uh, minors here, Senna Peters had a hat-trick. Three goals. Brady Burns also has a strong game in that same game. He had four assists. Ooh, there's been a trade between... Okay, so LA and San Jose made two trades in the same day. Sean Walker goes to San Jose for a third round draft pick. All right. And then they put Matt Roy on waivers. And then they traded him to San to the Sharks. Okay. Um that's weird. All right, so the Kings traded two defensemen to the Sharks for two draft picks. That's weird. All right, so Matt Roy now in San Jose for a fifth round draft pick. So is school over for you, FJ, or are you still going at it? <clears throat> 
tonight we're going to sim one day here and then we're going to be at, at Madison Square Garden to play against the Rangers. Ah, have you been playing anything lately? Oof, lots of players on waivers. All right, so Nick Jensen, JT Comfer, Leon Gawanke, Logan Day, Damian Wright, uh, Roman Starchenko, Justin Kirkland, and Rem Pitlick. Dang, what have you been doing? Working a lot, I guess. Sebastian Iowa has a memorable game in Carolina. He had three goals and an assist against Vegas. Memorable night for Johnny Godreau as well. He had three goals and an assist against the Ducks. Ah, yeah, work, work, work. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, we are in New York to play against the Rangers. Rangers are 14, 7, and 1. That's good for fifth in the East. We have not played the Rangers so far this season. <clears throat> Let's take a look at their team. All right, so they have Ryder Korshak and Owen Pickering that are hurt. So those two players are not going to play. Jack Campbell and Igor Shesterkin in net for the Rangers. Runanen, Robertson, Lundquist, Fleury, Fox, Schneider, and Truba on D. Lafreniere, Panarin, Berard, Zibanejad, Strom, Baron, Vaisanen, Kreider, Kako, Mayu, Kravtsov, Blé, and running up front. All right, so let's go ahead and play this game. Gustafsson is going to be in net for the Sens again. Igor Shesterkin in net for the Rangers. And of course, go Sens, go. Oh, bounce back. Bounce back game. After losing in Detroit, we go in New York and beat the Rangers 5-2. Pretty nice victory here. We outshot the Rangers 41-24 in this game. Josh Norris was the first star. He had two assists. Alex Formanton was the second star with two assists. And Patrick Kane was the third star with an assist as well. All right, so we scored three unanswered goals in the first period. Neil Pionk scored his first as an Ottawa Senator, first of the season, from Patrick Kane and Eric Brandstrom. Then Igor Sokolov scored from Alex Formanton and Thomas Shabbat. And then Tim Stutzel from Drake Batterson and Mason Shaw. Three nothing sends after one. Then in the second, Artem Zub made it 4 nothing from Alex Formanton and Josh Norris. Then the Rangers scored, made it 4-1. Then they scored again in the third period, made it 4-2. But Dougie Hamilton scored shortly after from Brady Kachuk and Josh Norris. And that was a nice 5-2 victory in New York. <clears throat> All right, Alexander Barkov's assist streak ended at eight games. He had two goals, though, against Washington, but no assists, so that particular streak is over, <clears throat> although his point streak is still going. And a memorable night for Zilan Larkin. He had three goals and two assists against the Jets. All right, looks like we have a couple days off, then we have a three-game home stand. That's going to kick off against the Calgary Flames. Max Pecci already played in his thousandth game against the Philadelphia Flyers. Didn't get a point in the game. Max Pecci already is 35 and he's still a four-star player. Evander Kane extends his point streak to 13 games with an assist against the Kings. Dreisaitl made it 24 games with a point with two assists in that same game. And McDavid 24 games with a point as well with two goals in that same game. Uh, 
not all that much, man. Um, I'm still getting settled in my new place. Uh, things are going okay. We still have a few things here that we're taking care of. Um, other than that, I'm working, working a lot. I usually work overtime as well. Uh, I don't have... Um, <clears throat> Looks like I'm having problems fitting my streams in my day sometimes. Sometimes I'm just too tired. Uh, not much. Just regular stuff, I guess. <laughs> right, advancing one more day and then Calgary is gonna be in town. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool that I get to work from home too. I I kind of like that aspect. Makes a pretty easy commute. All right, Nick Cousins has been put on waivers by the the Preds. Suspension for Tim Bernie uh, in Columbus. He's gonna miss three games. Evander Kane's point streak ended at 13 games, didn't get a point against Seattle, but Dreisaitl did, he had two assists, so that's 25 straight games for him, and McDavid had a goal and an assist, so that's 25 for him as well. Alright, Calgary's in town, they are 16-9-1, so pretty good record. We are 0-1 against Calgary this season, we lost 4-3 in Calgary earlier this season, so we are going, I'm going to look to avenge that. All right, Matt Murray is going to be in net for this particular game, Dan Vladar is going to be in net for Calgary, and of course, go sends go. Oh, we lost 4-1. So the Flames too strong for us. We lost both games against them this season. A 4-1 loss at home against the Flames. Oh, not a super offensive game as far as shot generation there. We outshot Calgary 23-21 in that one. Uh, Jacob Peltier was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Noah Anifin was the second star with an assist. And Braden McNabb was the third star with two assists. We had 16,425 people in attendance for this particular game. Uh, Flame scored twice in the first period. It was 2-0 Calgary after one. Then they added two more goals in the second period. It was 4-0 Flames after two. We had a fight between Brady Kachuk and Matthew Kachuk. That's That would never happen. They have said it many times. They would not fight each other in real life. But it is... You know, a game, a simulation. So the the Ketchup brothers actually fought. And then in the third period, oh, with 26 seconds left to go in the game, we took away the shutout bid for Vladar. Josh Norris scored from Brady Ketchup and Patrick Kane. It was 4-1, of course, way too late. And we lost. Oh, some suspension news over here. Uh, Joel Farabee got suspended for seven games with the Flyers. And Sammy Blay is back in the lineup with the Rangers after serving is. Right, it looks like we have a couple of days off again, and then we're going to be hosting the Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, another thing that I've been doing apparently is growing a, a big ass beard. As you can see, I uh, I have not shaved in a second or two. Who am I kidding? I shaved yesterday morning. Matt Duchesne has recorded a thousand games played in his career. That was against the Carolina Hurricanes. Matt Duchesne is 32 and a three and a half star player. Did not get a point in that game. Martin Nikash extends his goal streak to five games, two goals and an assist against Nashville in that same game. 
Victor, Victor Edman also played in a thousand game in his career. Uh, celebrated that with an assist that was against Seattle. Victor Edman is 32 years old. He is still a four and a half star player. So FG, can you grow a big kick-ass beard? I feel that as a, you know, from the part of the world that you're from, you, you ought to have to look like a Viking or something. I feel like it would be wasted potential if you if you don't. And less, Ellie is looking at potentially trading Drew Doughty put on the block here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I I'm a little I'm a little sad inside. How about that, I'm gonna. Next time that I trim my beard, I'll mail you the the air, and you can like glue it to your face or something. All right, one more day off. Man, that's a that's a long generation line of incapacity at growing a beard, man. I, I guess you just don't have the genes for it. <clears throat> John Carson has recorded 500 assists in his career with an assist against Colorado. He is 33 years old and a four-star player, so well, at least you can grow a little bit of something. Leon Dreisaitl's point streak ended at 25 games. Ooh, Eld scoreless against Arizona. Same for McDavid. His point streak ended at 25 games as well. Well, that might not be a bad thing in its uh, in itself if you look at it that way. Uh, Max Faxiardi uh, scored his 400 goal in his career. A goal that scored against Chicago. And we just looked at him, but he's 35 and he is a four-star player. <clears throat> All right, we are looking to host the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, they are 11, 13, and 3. That's good for 13th in the East. Oh man, yeah, that's that's sad for them. Like literally, when I was working, like several moons ago, probably around the time that you were born. Yeah, right about that time, uh, I was working at the tourism center in my hometown, and there's that girl that came in, and uh, she bent over to uh, like to get a pamphlet that was like on the bottom shelf or something. And she had like skinny jeans or something, and I, I noticed that her ass was airier than mine, and I was like, there's something wrong with this picture. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and play against the Carolina Hurricanes here. And we are 1-0 against them. We did beat them in Carolina 3-2 earlier this season. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so Carolina's gonna go with Kachet with Kachet Cove, and we are going to go with Matt Murray. And of course, go sends go. Back to winning a 5-1 victory there over Carolina. We outshot Carolina 27-25. Neil Pionk was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Eric Brandstrom was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Nino Niedreder was the third star with a goal. 16,587 people in attendance for the game. Uh, Tim Stutzel opened up the scoring in the first period. That was a power play goal from Neil Pionk and Josh Norris. And then Angus Cruikshank scored from Alex Farmington and Igor Sokolov. 2-0 Ottawa. Then Carolina scored. It was 2-1 Ottawa after one. 
And in the second period, we scored three unanswered goals. Mason Shaw from Thomas Shabbat and Drake Batterson. Then Nino Niedrutter from Eric Brandstrom and Neil Pionk. And then Eric Brandstrom scored his fifth of the season from Juraj Zlakowski and Shane Pinto. 5-1 Ottawa after two. Nobody scored in the third. That was the end of that game. 5-1. A 5-1 victory for the Ottawa Senators. And then we are hosting the Islanders the very next day, so not a whole lot of time to celebrate. Maybe a little bit of time for Brady Kachuk and Josh Norris to go sing uh, Mr. Brightside at a karaoke bar in Ottawa or something. Alexander Barkov extends his point streak to 12 games with a goal against uh, Nashville. All right, Islanders are in town. They are 15, 10, and 2. That's good for sixth in the East. We are 1 0 against the Islanders. We beat them 3 2 in New York earlier this season. Let's try to win this again. Uh, Jacob Skarik is going to be in net for the Islanders. Philip Gustafsson is going to be in net for the Sens. And of course, go, Sens, go! Oh, we lost 5-1. That's not good. So a little bit of a tougher month so far. We win one, lose one. Well, actually, we lose one, win one, lose one, win one, lose one. So hopefully we win one again. At least we're not going on a lo huge losing streak or anything like that. Oh, we just didn't get the goaltending, and they did. We outshot the Islanders 39-29. to Matthew Barzal was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Skarik was the second star with 38 saves in the W, and Anders Lee was the third star with a goal and an assist. 15,530 people in attendance for the game. All right, nobody scored in the first. Then in the second period, the Islanders scored three unanswered goals. They were up 3-0 after two. Then they made it 5 nothing into the third before Ridley Gregg scored his first NHL goal from Nino Niedretter and Jacob Bernard Docker. 5-1 Islanders, that was way too late, sadly, but Ridley Gregg, with his first NHL goal, scored against the Islanders in a losing cause, sadly. But he's gonna remember that goal all his life, I'm sure. I'm sure it was a very powerful snipe, top corner. Uh, Alex Formanton is getting better playing center, apparently. Right now we have a few days off before we go on the road for three games. We're going to start that in St. Louis against the Blues. Ooh, Artemi Panarin has been suspended. He's gonna miss one game. Cole Lind is suspended in Columbus as well. Gonna miss two games for him. And in Columbus, Bernie is back after serving his suspension. So flip-flopping suspended players in Columbus, apparently. All right, so that's still a day off for us. We are heading to St. Louis, hometown of Brady Kachuk. Maybe have a a homemade meal with uh, Father Keith and Mom Chantal. Oscarie Laxanen in Buffalo has been put on waivers. We are not gonna claim him. Dylan Larkin is hurt in Detroit. He's gonna miss two weeks. Suspension over for Panarin already. And Kirby Dyke's suspension in Chicago is also over, back in the lineup over there. One more day off, and then we are finally in St. Louis, for real this time. All right, the St. Louis Blues are 13, 13 and one, playing for 500 in St. Louis. Uh, yeah, from a distance, I don't really have a plan to watch the playoffs, so I would have to do it illegally. And since the Suns are not involved, I'm not as motivated to do that. 
But it's pretty much the same old, same old, right? A bunch of dirty hits not getting suspended, questionable calls that lead to goals that they're going to have to recheck the rules at the end of the season and whatnot. It, and really high-scoring games from what I've seen. So I think I got it pretty much summarized right here. All right, we haven't played St. Louis so far this season, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at their lineup. All right, so they have uh, Vecca 9, and that's hurt for a while. He has a fractured skull, so <laughs> might never play again. Who knows? All right, so in net, uh, uh, St. Louis has Biddington and Offer, Walman, Krug, Van de Sample, Perunovic, uh, Perico, Fleury on D, and then up front they have Neil Perron, Brandon Saad. Neighbors, Zaka, O'Reilly, Shen, Barbashev, Seni, Bolduk, Tarasenko, Buknevich, Kairou, and Laferriere. Alright, so we are going to um, play in St. Louis here. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sens. Jordan Bennington in net for St. Louis. And of course, go Sens, go. Let's get us a, a road win here. And we did a 3-2 win in St. Louis. Hopefully it's the start of a long winning streak. Have you been following the playoffs? Have you been following your Mariners a lot too? I saw that they've been struggling a little bit. All right, so Suns win 3-2 in St. Louis. We outshot St. Louis 35-29. to Drake Batterson was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly was the second star with an assist. And Mason Cho was the third star with two assists. Uh, we scored all of our goals in the first period. So Lassie Thompson opened up the scoring from Drake Batterson and Artem Zub. Then Eric Brandstrom from Mason Cho and Neil Pionk. Then Sim Stutzel from Drake Batterson and Mason Cho. 3 nothing Suns after one. Then in the second period, St. Louis scored, made it 3-1, and then they scored again in the third period, made it 3-2. There were 3 minutes and 15 seconds left in the third period when they made it 3-2, but they couldn't tie the game. So, the Sens run away with 2 points, which makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're, you're not in the ideal time zone for that, huh? Uh, Roby Yarventy got hurt in Belleville. He's, he has a, he's not hurt. He has a virus. It is a little vague. Alexander Barkov's point streak ended at 12 games in Florida. Didn't get a point against the Washington Capitals. Jacob Perrault has a strong game in Anaheim. He had four assists against Colorado. And Matt Duchesne has a memorable game in Nashville. He had four assists as well against Carolina. Ooh, Rangers are looking to move Chris Kreider. Put on the block there. So do you have all your weekends off? Or do you only work during the week? All right, we are in Chicago to play against the Blackhawks. Now, Blackhawks are 16, 9, and 4. Pretty good start in Chicago for the Hawks. We have not played them so far this season. Ooh, no injuries in Chicago. Healthy team. Mark andre Fleury and Kevin Lankinen in net for Chicago. Uh, oh, former Ottawa Senator Travis Sanheim signed there. How much did he sign for? Huh. Less than what he was asking out of me. I didn't want to pay in that neighborhood for him. He was okay for me, but I didn't want to... Uh, Bring him back at that. Oh, Victor Mitty, other former Ottawa Senator on the as well. Bodine, Shannon Kirk, Murphy, Alowell, Regula, and Seth Jones. Then up front, they have Kara, Tanev, Smith, the Brincat, Strom, Jost, Borgstrom, and Twistle, Kirby Dak, Johnson Sprong, Eagle, and Ardman. Oh, you do work Saturday, so you work a little bit later today or something? Or are you slacking off and watching me while you're working? I'm gonna tell your boss. All 
All right. Philip Gustafsson in net for the Sands, Mark Andre Fleury in net for the Hawks, and of course, go Sands, go. Let's try to get our first two game winning streak of the month here. Nope, we failed. We lost 5 3. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to tell you about them. I guess since it's your I'll, it's your day off today, I, I suppose. I suppose that I won't rat you out. All right, so 5-3 loss in Chicago for the Sands. So we are unable to put two wins together. As a result, the Leafs have ca caught up to us, but they played more games for Monday. So, ooh, Chicago uh, clubbered us with shots, 50-36. to Alex the Brinkat was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Shane Pinto was the second star with an assist. And Kirby Dak was the third star with a goal and an assist. Chicago scored first in the first period. Then Juraj Slavkowski uh, tied a game from Shane Pinto and Nino Niedreder. It was 1-1 after 1. Then in the second period, we took the lead. Patrick Kane scored a, against his former team. A power play goal from Thomas Shabbat and Sim Stutzel. 2-1 Ottawa after, uh, after 2. Then we made it 3-1 Mason Shaw from Tsim Stutzel, and then the wheels fell off the wagon. We allowed four straight goals, and Chicago ran away with a 5-3 victory. Yeah, that's that's not a good game there. We had a 3-1 lead with, wow, 8.54 left to go in the third period. We were winning 3-1, and we managed to lose 5-3. I'm not happy with that result. All right, what do we have here? Uh, Cole Lind is back from his suspension in Columbus. Mika Zibanejad reached 300 goals in his career with a goal against the Florida Panthers. Zibanejad is 30 years old and a four and a half star player. All right, New Jersey. Uh, we are in New Jersey to complete that three game road trip. Uh, New Jersey is 13, 14, and 1. That's good for 11th in the East. We are 1 0 against the Devils this season. Beat them 5 4 earlier in the year. Let's see if we can beat them again. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sands. Akira Schmid is going to be in net for New Jersey. And of course, go, Sands, go! Ooh, another loss. That's our first losing streak of the month. We lost 5-2 in New Jersey, so we're not doing that hot this month. Maybe I shouldn't have focused so much on our record when I open up the stream. I, it looks like I jinxed my team. Looks like it's all my fault. All right, uh, looks like we got outshot 34 to 27 in this game. Sharon Govich was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Uh, Andre Palat was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Walsh was the third star with two assists. We opened up the scoring in the first. Mason Shaw from Neil Pionk and Patrick Kane. It was 1-0, but then the Devils scored twice. It was 2-1 New Jersey after one. And in the second period, New Jersey made it 3-1. We, then we came back to within one. Juraj Lefkowski scored on the power play from Thomas Shabbat and Lassie Thompson. But then New Jersey scored again, made it 4-2. They added one more goal in the third period, made it 5-2. And that was pretty much it. A disappointing loss in New Jersey against the Devils. The bloody Devils. Bloody hell! Oh, we got passed by Buffalo as well. Jeez. Things are dire. Alright, so Mark Pysik uh, has been put on waivers by Buffalo. Uh, so did Ross Colton. Ooh, Patrick Kane is day to day for me. David Perron is hurt in St. Louis. He's going to miss four months with. Uh, a ner radial nerve compression and they are saying that Ross Colton has been put on waivers but I already announced that All right. Kane is day to day um, I should be fine we're just gonna check yeah he can't play but 
somebody else is gonna fill in. Of course, you don't exactly replace Patrick Kane, but it should be a short-term injury. We have two days off, and then the Flyers are gonna be in town. I have two home games here. I'm hoping to win them both to kind of put me back in the swing of things here. I might even... I might even show kindness to my players to motivate them to win. I might abolish lashes after wins. Rasmus Dalin extends his assist streak to eight games against Columbus. That was two assists for him. And Ivan Prorov is hurt for the Flyers. He's going to miss five weeks with a fractured finger against Anaheim. Kindness, kindness rhymes with weakness for a reason. All right, one day off, and then we're hosting the Flyers. Maybe I need to hire John Tortorella as a coach so that he can tell my players how they don't know how to play hockey. Uh, Kale Clegg has been put on waivers by Montreal. Rasmus Dalin extends his assist streak to nine games. He had an assist against the Lightning. Injury puts Miko Rantanen on sidelines in Colorado. He's going to be out for two months with a torn abdominal muscle. Patrick Kane might come back soon. That's right. Seems too tall to uh, to dive in front of pucks. All right, so uh, Flyers are in town. They are fifteen and fourteen. That's good for eleventh in the East. We are one and zero against the Flyers this season. Let's beat them again. Arvid Olm is going to be in net for the Flyers. Philip Gustafsson is going to be in net for the Sens. Go, Sens, go. We are a little bit on the skid right now. Oh, another loss. This one in overtime. We do get a point, but that's another loss. 2-1 to one in overtime slash shootout. We were outshot 43-31. to 31. Philip Gustafsson was the first star of the game. Despite the loss, he made 42 saves. Tim Stutzel was the second star with a goal. And Ryan Ellis was the third star with an assist. Set out crowd here in Ottawa for this game. 17,000 on the dot. Flyers scored first in the first period. Then Tim Stutzel tied the game from Mason Shaw. Tied at 1 after 1. Then there was a fight in the second period between Ridley Gregg and Terrell Goldsmith. Then that went to the shootout where Tim Stutzel scored, Tyson Forster scored, and then Travis Konechny scored. Made it 2 to 1. In the shootout, we lost 2-1 overall. We're getting a point, but that's a three st third straight loss. Maybe I'm going to need to reinstate Lashes after every game. That did not motivate my team. Brendan Lemieux uh, got suspended for probably biting somebody. Uh, he is out for four games. What a piece of shit. Biting people like his dad. That runs in the same blood. Victor Edman has obtained 500 assists in his career. He had an assist against the New York Rangers. Victor Edman is 33, four and a half star defenseman, as we saw earlier. Rasmus Dalin's assist streak ended at nine games, no points against the Jets. Oh, I like that. Yes, yes. 
but we need a, a good shooter. Josh Norris takes the shots. He has a really precise and hard shot. He's the one taking the shots. Doesn't work if it's Eric Brandstrom. He cannot hit the fucking net, even if his life depended on it. But we put Josh Norris for that particular... For that particular... Uh, punishment, and we're onto something... Well, Shara doesn't play for my for my sense. I'm pretty sure he retired already, or a few years in the future. All right, Nashville is in town. 16 and 10, uh, 16, 10 and three is their record. We have not played Nashville so far this season, so we are going to look at what they look like. Ooh, few injuries here. Uh, Philip Tomasino is hurt, not gonna play. Roman Yossi is hurt, not gonna play. And Matthias Ekholm is hurt, not gonna play. Wow. So some pretty good players in Nashville are out of the lineup, so that's good for me. Especially since I'm trying to get back in the W column. Now UC Saros and David Richard uh, Rittich are in net. Ferenc Del Gaizo, Furlong, Myers, Fabro, Allard, Belpedio, and D. Then up front they have Rustalainen, Tanner Janot, Martin, Fontaine, Forsberg, Duchesne, Sissons, Poling, Johansson, Grimaldi, Olivier, Kunin, Ace, and Afanasayev. All right, let's beat the Nashville Predators. You see Saros is going to be in net. We're going to go with Philip Gustafsson. Now, Saros is pretty good in real life. I don't know in the game. Go, Suns, go. Ah, back in the W column. I like that. 6-1 victory. Very convincing win here against Nashville. We outshot them 43-25. to Eric Brandstrom heard me say that he couldn't hit the net and ended up the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists, so he did hit the net at least once. Uh, Neil Pionk was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Drake Batterson was the third star with two assists. Another sellout crowd in Ottawa, 17,000 people right on the dot. Uh, former Ottawa Senator Matt Duchesne opened up the scoring in the first. It was 1-0 Nashville after one. Then in the second period, Mason Shaw scored his 15th of the season from Dougie Hamilton and Nino Niedrutter. Then Juraj Stakowski scored his 10th of the season on, in his rookie season from Shane Pinto and Eric Brandstrom. And then Neil Pionk from Drake Batterson and Brady Kachuk. It was 3-1 Ottawa after two. Then in the third period, Eric Brandstrom scored from Josh Norris and Neil Pionk. Tim Stutzel scored his 15th from Eric Brandstrom and Drake Batterson. And then finally, Dougie Hamilton scored his 5th from Igor Sokolov and Lassie Thompson. 6-1 Ottawa, the final score. Then we take a plane, go to Philadelphia to play against the Flyers the very next day. We just played the Flyers. They beat us at home, so we're going to beat them in their barn there. Uh, Joseph Dusak has been put on waivers by the Leafs. James Neal has recorded 600 points in his career with an assist against Arizona. James Neal is 36 and he is only a two-star player anymore. Strong night for Jake Sanderson in the minors. He had a hat-trick three goals against Syracuse. Oh yeah, he looks like he might become something. Patrick Kane with insight of returning, that'd be great. Uh, David Cotton has been put on the trading block. All right, in Philly to play the Flyers, 16 and 14 is now their record. They haven't played since we played them. We have, so Philadelphia is now 10th in the East. We are, of course, 1-1-1 one, one, one now against them since we just lost in the shootout against them. All right, Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sens. Carter Hart in net for the Flyers. Go, Sens, go. Oh, yeah, another win, 4-1. I think that's our first uh, string of wins put together in the month of December. A nice 4-1 victory on the road. We outshot the Flyers 44-27 to in that one. Lassie Thompson was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Mason shows the second star with two goals. And Sim Stutzel was the third star with an assist. Mason Shaw opened up the scoring in the first from Lassie Thompson and Tim Stutzel, then Lassie Thompson from Artem Zub and Alex Formanton. It was 2-0 Ottawa at that point. The Flyers scored, made it 2-1 after one. Mason Shaw added another goal in the second period from Drake Batterson and Eric Brandstrom. It was 3-1 Ottawa at that point. And then Brady Kachuk completed the scoring in an empty net in the third period from Nino Niedreder and Neil Pionk. 
for one Ottawa, the final score, a nice victory. Uh, Joel Farabee is back from suspension in Philadelphia, back in the lineup. There was no stopping Austin Matthews. He had a hat-trick against Pittsburgh. Uh, Troy Terry is sideline in Anaheim for two months. He has a torn hamstring. Patrick Kane is completely recovered. Thank you. Thank you. Now we have three days off, mostly because it is Christmas Eve. Oh, may everybody have a blessing holiday and crap and stuff. All right. It is Christmas Day. As usual, nobody gave me a trade offer I cannot refuse as a gift. So we're just going to move past that. I keep hoping every time that I play and it's December, I keep hoping that a GM is going to be like, Hey, do you want my star players for crumbs? And it never happens. Uh, Mark Jankowski has been put on waivers by Winnipeg, so did Johan Larson. And there was a trade between Winnipeg and Detroit. Adam Lowry goes to the Red Wings for a third round draft pick. So Adam Lowry now a member of the Detroit Red Wings. All right, we're going to go ahead and advance one more day. All right, Washington is in town. Ooh, it's tough for Washington this season. They are 9, 19, and 2. That's good for 15th in the East. We have not played Washington this season. Let, let's try to figure out why they are struggling. Well, they have some injuries. That's not going to help. Uh, TJ Oshi is out. Yeah, that's not going to help. Anthony Manta is out. Also not going to help. It's a pretty good player. And then Matteo Rotondi is out as well. So the players that are going to play in net, Samsonov and Venecek. On D, they have Orlov, Lindgren, Toms, Carlson, Schultz, Bickler, Yorio. Oof, yeah, there's a few, uh, there's a few uh, unknowns there. Up front, they have Ovechkin, Goodrow, Laferty, Protas, Eller, Dowd, Kuznetsov, Pilon, Lapierre, Backstrom, Wilson, Luff, Gregor, and Sutter. Yeah, probably not the best team I've seen, though. No? All right, let's see if we can beat them. Uh, Vitek Vanecek is going to be a net for Washington. We're going to go with Philip Gustafsson. Of course, as usual, I want to say go, sons, go. Another win, 5-2. Look at us going back uh, on the right ways here, the glorious ways of winning. Nice 5-2 victory at home. Uh, we outshot Washington 44-21. to Jacob Bernard Docker was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Shane Pinto was the second star with two assists. And Patrick Kane was the third star with a goal. 16,731 people in attendance for the game. Washington scored first in the first period. And they were up 1-0 after one. But we scored three unanswered goals in the second period. Igor Sokolov scored from Shane Pinto and Jacob Bernard Docker. Then Josh Norris from Jacob Bernard Docker and Brady Kachuk. And then Drake Batterson scored short-handed from Shane Pinto and Neil Pionk. 3-1 out of left to two. Washington came to within one in the third period, but we added two more goals. Eric Brandstrom from Jacob Bernard Ducker and Thomas Shabbat. And then Patrick Kane scored in an empty net from Mason Shaw and Dougie Hamilton. 5-2 the final score. All right, so so we have two games left in the month of December here. 
Oh, Patrick Kane is day to day again. You just recovered. Now you're out again. Josh Norris is also day to day. He... That's not good. Eli Tolvanen extends his go streak to five games with a goal against the Buffalo Sabres. Memorable game for Artemi Panarin. He had a hat trick against the Red Wings. And Peter De Debar might lose his job in Vegas. Vegas is 16, 15, and 2. So not the start that he had hoped for in Vegas. Am I going to be okay here? Do I have too many injuries? Yeah, those two are going to be out. So that means that Kelly and Greg are going to come in. Of course, Kane and Norris are better, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, we have a day off. Then we're going to be hosting the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, Michael Rasmussen has been put on waivers by the Oilers, Philip Berglund as well, and Dmitry Samarukov as well. Strong night for Mitch Marner. He had three goals and insists against the Bruins. Cole Smith is earth in Vegas. He's going to miss five months. Mark Stone got 600 points in his career with a goal and insist against Dallas. Mark Stone is 31 years old and he is a four-star player. Jack Eichel has a great game in that same game. He had three goals and insist. There was a trade between the Oilers and the Bruins. Oh, Ivan Bouchard goes to Boston for a third round draft pick only. Wow. Edmonton got fucking fleeced. Ah. Wow. And after that, uh, the Oilers waved Rasmussen, as we saw. And Bobrovsky is hurt in Florida. He's going to be out for four months with a torn flexor in his elbow. What a fleece by Boston. Wow. All right. Pittsburgh is in town. They are 16, 11, and 6. That is good for 7th in the East. Yeah, yeah. I suppose I can all in masterclass for sure. We are 1-0 against Pittsburgh this season. We did beat them 4-1 in Pittsburgh earlier. All right, so we are facing them without Norris and Patrick Kane. So a little bit of offense uh, taken out of the lineup here. Tristan Jari is going to be in net for Pittsburgh. Philip Gustafsson is in net for the Suns. And of course, go Suns, go. Come on, let's continue the winning streak here. Oh, we lost 7-6 in the shootout or overtime. Lots of offense. Uh, we outshot Pittsburgh 47 to 34. Yevgeny Malkin was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Thomas Shabbat was the second star with three assists. And Sidney Crosby was the third star with a goal and two assists. We had a set out crowd in Ottawa for this one. Uh, Pittsburgh scored first in the first period. Then we scored four straight goals in the first period. Uh, Uraj Lakovsky scored on the power play from Eric Brandstrom and Thomas Shabbat. Then Tim Stutzel scored on the power play from Thomas Shabbat and Uraj Lakovsky. Eric Brandstrom scored from Drake Batterson and Ridley Gregg. And then Tim Stutzel from Shane Pinto and Neil Pionk. 4-1 Ottawa after one. Then in the second period, uh, Pittsburgh scored, made it 4-2. And we had a fight between Brady Kachuk and Jake Gunzel in the second period as well. Then in the third, Pittsburgh scored three straight goals to take a 5-4 lead. Then Shane Pinto scored from Thomas Shabbat and Igor Sokolov. And then Angus Cruikshank from Parker Kelly and Sim Stutzel. It was 6-5 at that point, but then Pittsburgh would tie the game at 6. That went to overtime, and Yevgeny Malkin was the hero in overtime. He's the one who scored, and we have a 7-6 loss on our hands. And the last game of the month of December 2023 is going to be in Washington against the Capitals. Memorable night for Yevgeny Malkin against us. Three goals and an assist. As we saw, Carey Price has played in 800 games in his career. 
I celebrated that with a win against the Devils. Carey Price is 36, he is a 3.5 star player. Eli Talvenen extends his goal streak to 6 games, a goal and an assist against Colorado. Oh, Brendan Lemieux is back from suspension. He finished digesting the piece of skin that he took off somebody's hand. Strong game for Igor Afanasayev. Uh, he had a hat trick against Arizona. Josh Norris is completely recovered from his injury. And Ryan Suter might be moved. He's been put on the block by Dallas. All right, Washington, last stop in December. So Washington is 10, 20, and 2. We just played them, beat them 5-2. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that again. Matt Murray is going to be in net for the Sens. Vitek Venesek is going to be in net for Washington. Go, Sens, go. And we lost 4-3. Oh, not good. We were all shot 37 to 33 in that one. Barkley Goodrow was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Lassie Thompson was the second star with two assists. And Lars Eller was the third star with a goal and an assist. Washington scored twice in the first period. Then Juraj Tchaikovsky scored on the power play from Lassie Thompson and Sim Stutzo. And then Washington scored again. It was 3-1 Washington after one. Then in the second period, Washington made it 4-1. Then Doug Hamilton scored from Igor Sokolov and Shane Pinto. It was 4-2 Washington. In the third period, early, Ridley Gregg scored from Lassie Thompson and Thomas Shabbat. We were back to within one with plenty of game left to go, but we just couldn't tie the game. And we lost 4-3 in regulation. All right, not as great a month. Not too satisfied with this. Eugene Melnick is probably going to throw a fit. He might call me names. As we saw in the report that came out after his death, uh, he had some choice words uh, for female employees that are pretty much unacceptable. All right, strong night for Mikhail Zibanejad. He had four assists against the Leafs. Suspension for Matt Dumba, who is now in Colorado. Uh, he's going to miss one game. Jacob Perot extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal against the Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, my record could be worse, but it could also could be better. I, I don't really care for that right now. Uh, Justin Richards has been put on waivers by Boston and the player poll since it is the end of December. Best skater is Connor McDavid. Artist shot is Brant Clark of the Kings. Toughest is Mathieu Olivier in Nashville. Fastest is Connor McDavid. Best role model is Ryan Pulak in uh, with the Islanders. Cleanest is Johnny Aki. Johnny Godreau in Calgary. Contra the most controversial is Sergei Bobrovsky. The most overrated is Anthony Duclair. The most underrated is Adam Pellick. The smartest is Anzi Kapitar. The toughest goalie to beat is Connor Ellebuck. And the coach you'd most like to play for is John Cooper in Tampa Bay. All right, uh, we, uh, we are December 31st, so I am going to sim one day, so we are on January 1st. Ali Jewel Levy has been uh, put on waivers by the Sharks. Kate Nielsen improves at right wing. He plays in Belleville. Top setting Ottawa jerseys for December. Patrick Kane, Drake Batterson, Thomas Shabbat, Matt Murray, and Sim Stutzel. Patrick Kane is feeling better. Development report. I like to look at that. Ooh, Jake Sanderson getting some points. I like that. Oh, Tommaso De Luca is the guy that we drafted out of a, a random country. Look at him getting better. Yes, it was. 
Top selling NHL jerseys in the month of December. Austin Matthews is first. San Jose Sharks have plays of We Saw That. And Tyson Berry and Aiden Hill are the players of the month in the NHL. All right, so. Yeah, he's all right. I looked at him. Like. Oh, I don't think he's in here. Oh, I don't think he's in here either. Um, yeah, he's not under contract. All right, so we are um, third in the East now. So we have 50 points. Buffalo is first in the East. They have 52. So we're not that far behind. We just need to stop losing. Now if we look at the conferences Ooh, Montreal is still struggling sorry FJ Montreal is still not doing too good actually Montreal is the worst team in the league by quite a margin <laughs> yeah yeah it's not uh, out of the park baseball there's no double A here all right um let's take a look at our stats real quick All right, so our best player is Patrick Kane with 35 points in 33 games, 29 in 33 for Mason Shaw, Stuzo 29 in 36. Brandstrom is our best defenseman with 23 points. So our offense is pretty well spread out. We don't have anybody that's like running away with it. Like we have a lot of players with the same or, you know, points in the same neighborhood here. So diversified offense. Now let's take a look at the league leaders. The most goals are scored by Connor McDavid, 29 goals so far this season. Moses is Connor McDavid with 46. So it goes without saying that the most points are by Connor McDavid with 75 points already. He's only 25 points away from 100 and we're only in January. That's crazy. Goalie leaders, um, let's see here, do I have anybody here? No, no. Yeah, my goaltenders, uh, I had Gustafsson that, is, that was doing all right, but my goaltenders have not been broadcasted very often in the leaders since I took over the sentence. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game. I'm going to have to go. So as usual, I want to thank you for tuning in. Mostly FJ, who's been keeping me uh, company. Yeah, Francois Gravel might be a little old now to be a net at this junction of, you know, life. And of course, now, if you're catching this on YouTube later, you like the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.